All right, well, obviously we have the Summer Sword drawn, and I've recovered another three health points, so I'm at 36 now. Or maybe it's a two. I don't know, I'll put myself at 35. Um, so, let's, uh, 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 so we add eight to seven because I'm using the Sun Sword, which gives me, what, 15? Sweet. So, battle. He has a combat skill of 33. I'm still better than you. And endurance of 45. Ah. Oh, yeah, 45, not 15. There we go. All right. Let's get it on. I'm down to 32. He's down to 39. He's down to 35. I'm down to 27. He's down to 30. I'm down to 23. Ouch. He's down to 16. He's down to 2. He's down to 0, and I'm down to 21. Nice fight. He actually did some damage to me. Yay! I win combat. Turn to page 149. Lord Zahada shrieks an unearthly howl as your killing blow rips open his black heart. He thrusts a pleading claw-like hand towards the roof and drops heavily to his knees. His dying curse lost as blood fills his throat. His left eye gleams brightly for a second and then suddenly dies. What the? Was he an android? Like a candle flaring in a storm before it is extinguished by the rain. He sways and falls from the pinnacle to be devoured by the hungry flames of the pit. Hurrying over to the throne, you draw back your weapon and strike the black crystal a mighty blow. It splits clean in two, releasing its dark power and showering you with hot sparks in the wake of its destruction. The riven fragments hurl into the fiery abyss and the flames grow deadly quiet. From the depths of the pit, a terrible new roar begins to grow. The pinnacle shakes and a column of flame lights the entire throne hall as molten lava spews high into the air. Oh, lone wolf, what have you done? If you wish to take the Lord's Stone and escape, if you wish to take the Lord's Stone and search for, uh, escape into the steel tube, or if you wish to take the Lord's Stone and search for some way to escape the th from the throne hall. Yeah, somehow I don't think the steel tube's the best way to go. So let's take the Lord's Stone and try and look for another way. You search the gleaming throne uh, and the dais and the back iron uh, of black iron rock upon which rests it, and discover a pinnacle carved deep into the, into the gold. As you trace the design with your finger, a sound grows above the din of destruction, a sound like a twinkling of a thousand tiny bells. In the blackness above the throne, a speckled glow appears. Slowly it descends towards you until a large section of the dais is engulfed by a column of shimmering blue light. You reach up, and a wave of energy surges through your body as you close your hand around the lower stone of Herodos. Restore your endurance points to its original total. Yay! Your senses tingle with newfound strength, uh, and a newfound strength wipes away the fatigue of your terrible ordeal, enabling you to assess the new situation. Uh, the situation anew. The column of light is a magical transporter, a beam in which gravity has been reduced to almost zero. By entering it, you will be drawn towards the surface of level of Kazan Ud. Without hesitation, you pocket the lore stone and step into the magical beam. Yay! Chunks of stone and iron are blasted into the upper reaches of the throne hall by the increasing power of the eruptions. Boulders, some the size of horses, seem to tumble in slow motion all around the beam as you are drawn irresistibly nearer the roof. Suddenly, the beam fades and you find yourself standing in a circular plinth in the center of the ruined temple near the gatehouse of the castle keep. The glare of daylight blinds you, but as you gradually become accustomed to it, you cast your eyes over the shimmering waters of Lake Kor to the town of Herodos, or Herodos, <coughs> perched on the horizon. The wall of the fortresses are beginning to crack and slant, buildings are crumbling, and the ground is alive with constant vibration. You run through the ruined main gate as bolts of lightning are drawn from the sky by the dying power of Kazan Ud. At the top of the ruined staircase, you stare down at the lake far below. If you wish to descend to the steps of the old jetty, well, of course I do. You are forced to cut a path through a horde of creatures and that huddle on the steps leading to the jetty. Creatures are crawling out of the ground itself. Everywhere you look, black slimy hands are bursting through the surface, squeezing their way free from Kazan Ud through the scores and fissures opening in the, sh uh, in the sheer rock wall. Near the base of the steps, you are dragged to the ground by a clutch of loathsome slaves. They pay dearly for their mistake, but not before your backpack is torn from your shoulders? Ah, oh, son of a... No. Oh. There goes my apothecary. Look at it. 
all of it gone. That's what, like 12, 20, 30 points of healing. <laughs> 30 points of healing, no. Oh, why cruel world? Why? Man, did I choose the wrong path. Oh well. When you reach the stone jetty, you are covered from head to toe in the blood of your foes. The sight is so frustrating that all resistance melts away. The creatures hurl themselves into the lake rather than face the fearsome, straight-backed, white-skinned killer of their kin. Beneath the jetty steps, you discover an arch sealed off at one end and with a weed-encrusted stone door at the other. Inside the small is a small wicker coracle and a paddle. Having fought off the most determined of Cousin Ode's horrors, you launch the coracle, jump aboard, and paddle frantically towards the distant glimmer of the power shield. Defin the deafening cry of Cousin Ode echoes in your ears. As soon as you have passed through the power shield, you are greeted like a hero by a huge flotilla of fishing vessels and trading barges. An hour ago, upon seeing the eruption of Kazan Ud, every boat in Herodros, or Herodos set sail for the shield, for the eruption signaled the end of the bane that has haunted Desi for hundreds of years. Now they cheer the summoning warrior who has delivered them from Desi's evil shadow. Eager hands pull you aboard Lord Ardrun's vessel, and a fanfare salute is sounded by the trumpets of his Vakaros guards. We are forever in your debt, Lone Wolf, says Lord Ardrun, as he shakes your hand and warmly in gratitude and friendship. You have achieved what we feared to be impossible, and you live to tell the tale. Your bravery is an inspiration to us all. His words are reinforced by the delirious cheer of his people. He asks of your own quest, and when you remove the lore stone of Herodros from the pocket uh, of your tattered and scorched tunic, his eyes widen with amazement. And then we got a picture of uh, Lord Adden, I guess? With his staff. And such. He bows his head and says in solemn and respectful voice, My lord, you stand upon the threshold of greatness. Your purpose and your destiny are known to the Elder Magi, for we have awaited your coming for many thousands of years. Our survival and the survival of all we cherish rests on the success of your Magna Chi quest. The time has come, Lone Wolf, for you to learn our wisdom, for we are the same blood, you and I, and our fate is bound together. What, we're both like A-positive? Oh, sweet. Can I get some? Because I'm lacking quite a bit right now. We prepared. We will prepare you for your next quest. For the lore stone you must find next exits uh, exists in the land that was once our home, in the temple that was once our most sacred place of worship, in the chamber where our master first appeared to us, on the pedestal where he once said great things, in the hand with a person. I mean, come on, really? <laughs> you could just say, in the temple, in the land we used to live. It's all you had to do. Your quest has succeeded, for the strength and wisdom of the Lorestone of Herodos is now part of your body and spirit. But there is much for you to learn from the Elder Magi, as they prepare you for your most challenging of the Magna Chi quest you have yet to attempt. A quest that will take you deep into the hostile swamps of the Danarg, where the evil creatures of Argaresh and uh, the Dam still thrive and dominate the land. If you have the courage of the true Kai Master, the secret of the... Elder Magi and the Pearls of the Danarg await you in Book 8 of the Lone Wolf series entitled Jungle of Horrors. Yay! We completed Book 7. We lost all our healings. Oh, crap. Alright, yay! So, um, good book, good book. Uh, a bit shorter than sometimes because I picked up the Silver Rod. <laughs> and, uh, I got out of the maze pretty quickly, so... But, um, yeah, so I will see you guys in the next book. Take care.